going to chant an ancient Zen chant by the name of the Heart Sutra, Prajna Paramita Sutra. It's a talk given by the Buddha many hundreds of years ago. And in it, he's talking about the nature of meditation. He's saying that all the great sages and saints live by prajna paramita, the highest heart. They don't live in any of the chakras in the body. They live from the level of the soul or of God himself. And what they're saying is that form is emptiness and emptiness is form. Once you realize that emptiness is that still, small voice of God, once you realize that emptiness is shunyata, the void, once you realize that emptiness is a still and quiet mind, once you know that the intuition, the directing force of wisdom, only comes in once the mind has been emptied of all of its unwanted thoughts, as it says in the Yoga Sutras of Patanjali, Chitta Vritti Niroda, to bring the mind waves down to zero, filling the mind with clarity flooding the mind with the energy of God. And so, the Heart Sutra is one of the highest talks by the Buddha about meditation. But all we want to know is that this chant has been chanted by Zen monks for 700 years. It is a form of Zen Pranayama. There are three rules. You chant low to awaken the base chakra. You chant loud to process more energy. You chant long in that you have a long out breath. We should aim to chant at least 10 syllables on our out breath. And if we can chant for 20 syllables and one out breath, we're doing really well. But Hogan, my master, said he can chant for 40 syllables and one out breath. Indeed, a Zen master never stops breathing out, never stops radiating his energy out to his students. And the in breath. We should aim to make that in-breath one syllable long. But it's very important that we take a full in-breath, breathing into the abdomen, filling up into the center of the chest and the upper chest, and slowly breathing out. So it should be our aim for one syllable, but we can do it in two or three syllables. So, I will chant the first line and then we'll all join in at the end of each round of the sutra. It takes five minutes to chant one sutra. I will hit the bell. And in the third chant of the sutra, the whole thing takes about 15 minutes, I will hit the bell many times. Also good to have the hands together in prayer posture, to sit in the meditative position, spine aligned with the energy of the universe. Hands together in the heart to awaken the heart. To know that by sending energy out from the heart through this special heart mudra, we can send energy of compassion for the benefit of every living being. And after that, we'll be chanting the dedication and great vows for all. 
However innumerable all beings are, we vow to enlighten them all. However inexhaustible our delusions are, we vow to extinguish them all. However immeasurable the lessons of the soul are, we vow to master them all. However endless the Buddha's way is, we vow to follow it. And a Buddha is any enlightened master. Anyone who hears the call of God and chooses to express it to his students.